assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am Odoo technical developer so in this video we are going to talk about how to update records using xml rpc so in the previous video we have discussed about how to create records and in this video we are going to talk about how to create records uh, update records and uh, delete records so i am not uh, i am not just talking about this simple update but we will talk about uh, for example, if how to update this invoice like some specific lines and You can just update some specific fields, which is uh, really simple like you just need to update uh, Pass the name of the field and then uh, the ID uh, Which will get updated. So but I I will talk about like some uh, uh, like to update this one to many field uh, so for example uh, in this case i want to update this invoice and this invoice lines quantity okay so uh let me just try to get the id of this invoice lines first of all we know that the id of this invoice is 32 so let me get the line ids okay so for this purpose what i need to do is uh to get uh this uh, search method like this one okay let me just copy it and paste it here so here it will become like invoice uh, ids but we don't need invoice ids we need invoice uh, values okay invoice data okay so let me just replace it uh, we can say like invoice data okay and here we need to replace it like for what model we need uh, the data we want the data of invoice account dot move which is invoice model and here we need to add uh, like just keep it empty okay but uh, we can just add here read just to read the data and by passing the id because we already know the id is 32 okay and uh, here we need to uh, get the fields which is uh, sorry i just moved it. so i need to get the fields uh, from here which is uh, like i need to get uh, the name okay and then i need to get the invoice line id like this so I just want to get it and then let me print it on the console okay so we got uh, error message what is the error so we don't need to pass the limit okay so it returned the name is uh, backslash and these are the invoice line ID so we want to update for first line okay so what we can do here is uh, there are two ways in or like one way is to directly update uh, using this uh, method like just call it okay and then i will show you like what uh, problem you will get so for example if i say here uh, account dot move and here you just pass the id one to five and here you just uh, pass quantity is something like uh, 12 so currently it is uh, currently the ID at uh, the quantity are 10 so we want to make it 12 so let me just uh, print it here print update it okay so uh, basically write method is used to update it so run the file so you will got an error message so this is the Odoo default error message which so here uh, we pass account dot move but it should be account dot move dot line because we are going to update the account to move dot line model so uh, execute it and we got an error message that uh, this is the Odoo default error message that you cannot uh, create uh, unbalanced uh, journal entries so if you directly if you try to update the uh, invoice lines directly like this update uh, query then it will not work so you will have to use the special format that we have used for the uh, something like for the create uh, 
creation of the invoice so for that purpose what we can do is uh, we have to pass the model which is uh, account.move and the id of the invoice is 32 uh, like we know here mm, okay 32 okay and here we need to pass the values so in order to pass the value what we are going to update first we want to update invoice line ids and then inside invoice line ids we want to update uh, the quantity okay it will become like this this and here for example we want to update uh, the quantity so we will pass here uh, uh, something like uh, one one means to update and zero means to uh, create so one and then the id of uh, like uh, the id of the record which is 125 we already know it and then the values so here we want to update uh, like the quantity okay quantity we want to make it 12 and so here we we can also pass multiple values so for example we want to update for uh, 125 and sorry we want to update for 125 and also for 126 okay so let me make it 126 and for 126 we want to make it 12 okay so this is uh, how you can do it for the one to many fields so let me just uh, uh, run this code and it is uh, returning true which means that the values has been updated so let me refresh it so after the refresh you can see it has been updated like 12 and then 13 and also these values also updated automatically so this is how you can update uh, the records okay and now uh, we want to delete a record okay like simply deleting a record is just very straightforward way you just need to pass the id of that uh, record but in case of uh, in case of one to many you just need to fo like follow a special format so let me just pass deleted is equal to this one so we need to pass here same thing like this uh, model and then uh, we need to pass unlink okay uh, unlink and uh, account.move dot uh, line and then the id is a one two five okay you can see and let me execute this and let me print it delete it okay it got you cannot delete and vice lines because this is not uh, the case for invoice so in order to uh, do it for invoice you will have to use uh, the update query but in the update you will just have to uh, replace this uh, like uh, two you will have to use two in case of one so if i remove this one i just want to delete one line you will have to use this 2 and 125 i want to delete 125 and remove the values okay like this and execute okay true and let me show you what is the result so here you can see let me refresh it so here the 12 quantity product has been removed and you can see how uh, we have deleted the uh, one to many field values using uh, the update query okay so this is how uh, you can play with uh, examiner pc if you have any questions related to examiner pc and connecting to the database then you can ask us uh, we have uh, a group on discord so the group link uh, is in the description of the video so you can just click the link and join the group and you can ask uh, your queries and if you uh, enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you